K7TXO here. One of the neat things about Kenwood is their engineering department seems to really understand ham radio operators and their needs. The firmware set in the TS590S or G models incorporates a neat feature that for people who have multiple antennas with the need to, to check the output and make sure the SWR match is good or just to check to make sure the cabling and the path to the antenna is, is correct, uh, we can do things like program buttons. For example, the PFA button here, I've got set to transmit at five watts. You'll see the radio says five, and it says the uh, power is going out with the red light and our SWR match, where that little power is perfect in this case. Turn it off again. If I select the power button, now I'm just displaying the power, and I can vary that with the multi-control all the way up to 100 or any increment of 5 watts down to 5. Now I can also control it with software, DX Labs Commander. If I cl uh, click a button I've uh, written a script for, you'll see that it changes to some preset numbers. So I can do it from the computer or I can do it from the radio. This is a very unique feature that some of the other manufacturers just don't get. Uh, auto tuners built in the radios are fine. But when you're using multiple antennas, uh, that built-in auto tuner may not be the best uh, method of doing it, uh, especially if you've got an amplifier in line. Uh, doing it from the radio as far as setting low to high power levels and then hitting a button to transmit like I do here. In this case, we're doing it into a dummy load. Turn it on or turn it off. There you go. It's on and it's off. Very easy, very quick, and that allows me to use the manual tuner uh, or the uh, plate and load controls on the amplifier to set my power. And again, if I press this one more time, I can change that from five <clears throat> by simply rolling the multi-control. I might set it up to say 45 watts or something, and then uh, check, test, or adjust the controls of my tube amplifier. There you go, K7TXO.